and then this huge cable. So I'm able to put this breaker up for sale as well. And I get to save all the wiring. And I like it. What do you guys think? I think that's going to be sweet. So we got a lot more done today. Um, the camera has a limited amount of battery life left. So I'm going to shut, th shut it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean up that stove. Maybe on camera. And we'll see how well we go. Um, yeah. That's about it. So I will uh, shut it down for now, guys. We're going to go clean this guy over here, the stove. Clean him up. And if I spray paint him, which I plan on doing, I'll probably do it in here over top of all the junky material, building material that's in here. And I'll try to film that as well. And yeah, we will see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, I'm going to pull these uh, plates. <clears throat> We're going to give it a decent cleaning. I got this kind of hybrid um, spongy pad. It's kind of looks like a filter material. I'm gonna have to wash this, but this is what's gonna be painted. I'll have to go get some wet wipes, wash this down. You can see inside. That's a major cleaning to do. I love when stuff moves after you put it somewhere. Really annoying. See the crap in here, guys? I'm going to try to flip this beast over just to see if I can get most of that crap out of there. Cleaning this up. Whew. Gonna need an air hose. Blast this out. Go to town. Let's see what's in the oven. Same deal. Better clean it out. But it's a magic chef, it's a good name. We're out of here. Yeah. This has to be cleaned up super well. Because it's just nasty. So, um, I'll save that for another day. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Alrighty, folks, we're going to hit this with some water. How do you like it? Did I see that okay? Not really. There you go. beast to wipe down. Woo. That's some nasty boy. So I got a dry cloth here we'll use and then uh, it's spray paint time. I went and grabbed my used can of 
tiny barbecue paint. Black, appropriate color. And that should work well here. This is still wet though. I need some paper towels. It's not good. It's not good, boys. So what I'll do is I'm gonna have to go grab some paper towels. We'll wipe, dry this up real good. Then I'll hit it with this paint. I heat barbecue paint black. Hopefully I'm up in there to finish the fight. And I'll be back. All right, let's go. Let's go, folks. Now that little bit of black that's been scraped that you see on the enamel. Don't worry, folks, that'll be covered up via the paint. So that's a good thing. I gotta do the edges too. So I gotta do the, the edges of this beast as well. So, let's drop him down. Let's uh, zoom you guys in. Because we got some spray bombing to do now. And I'm gonna move this freaking wire out of here. What a pain in my butt. There we go. I'm getting the majority of it done. And I'll go back over it. Because I don't know how much paint's in this used can. Which is the tricky part. When you've got a low budget. Looks like I've got the majority. Let's do the rim. Edge. That may still show up in the uh, setup. Looks like it's turning out okay. Got the side and the front. gonna throw this paint out and I said, you nuts? <laughs> right. Looks pretty good guys, I don't know. Really good. Once that dries I can hit it with a second coat. Um and go from there. save this can. Um, I'll bring the, the can of paint inside though and then um, keep it climatized in the house. Then I will spray the stove again and go to town. Looks good. Really good. Ta-da! My battery power on the camera is just at the dead point. So that turned out well. Like I said, guys, I'm going to leave it for 24 hours, maybe 48, and then I'll come back out here with the paint. Um, I'll lift it up, see what I can do, spray it again, and go to town. But I think that's going to turn out to be a nice, re real nice looking stove once I get it done and fixed up. And uh, like I said, I can sell the breaker panel and uh, get some more moolah out of that. 
And I'm out of here, guys. So that's, whoa. That's Rob from Canada's Off-Grid Project. Got slowly gutting this fifth wheel RV that I got for dirt cheap and trying to make a flip it for a profit. I was originally gonna make it a tiny house. Still possible, possible, that's still possibility. But for now, I think it's on uh, flip mode. Flipping tinies. So that's the way to go. I already have it up online. I don't have any pictures of the interior, as you would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> just the outside of this thing and uh, we'll see if I get any butt nipples on it but uh, yeah I'm out of here get out to of these see all my live daily content become a patreon member click on the link on my youtube channel at the Offred tiny house click on support this channel it'll take you to the Offred tiny house page on patreon or you can just Google it. Sign up and join in. Thank you.